Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of EcoBrap. Today we're going to be installing some Airlift 1000 airbags on the rear suspension of our 2019 Kia Niro EV. We're installing these airbags because the rear suspension is definitely going to be kind of pushed a little bit when it's towing and it has a bunch of tongue weight on it. Or if we have a motorcycle carrier on the back, we just want to help the rear suspension as much as we can and we think these airbags will do the job. What we're going to do before we actually get to the install is check to see if the airbags are actually doing anything. Okay, it doesn't look pretty, but it works. We've got 233 pounds worth of tires on the uh, on the tongue of the trailer here. And if you include the 80 pounds that the trailer has statically, we've basically got 313 pounds pushing down right on the trailer hitch now. So we're gonna take a measurement and see what it is. For all intensive purposes, I'm gonna call this 28 and 5 sixteenths. Okay, we still have 313 pounds on the tongue of the trailer, but we have now deflated the airbags to zero PSI, so we're gonna redo our measurements. 27 and 15 sixteenths. So, kind of crazy to think about. We've got 313 pounds, uh, and the only difference that we're seeing in the ride height is about 6 sixteenths or 3 eighths of an inch difference, which is not a huge amount. And it says something to how stiff the stock Nero suspension is if it's not really squatting that much without the support from the airbags. But what I will say is that the air springs are progressive. So, if we do go over a bump, that's where it's gonna help control uh, you know, bottoming out and things like that. So that's the main reason we installed them. Wasn't for a static ride height, but it was more for the bounce that happens as we go over a bump. If you're not planning on using a bunch of tongue weight and you're just gonna tow like a little, you know, thousand pound utility trailer or teardrop trailer, you, you realistically probably don't need the airbags. The suspension on the Nero is pretty good, but we just put them in because we are gonna be loading it up quite a bit when we do have the race car on the trailer here. And just one final quick note before we get to the install is that if you do decide to install these airbags, they do make a bit of noise because when they're not inflated and you're just driving around in your driveway, you can hear the airbag slipping through the coil spring as the car moves around. Just something that's kind of annoying that you'll have to get used to, but it only happens at really low speeds. So you don't really need to worry about it once you've left your driveway. But it's definitely audible, so I figured it is worth mentioning. Step one is to break the lug nuts loose before we lift the car. Step two, jack the rear of the car off the ground. We use the center of the rear subframe as a lifting point. So that we can easily put the jack stands in the correct location. Step three, remove the rear wheels to gain better access to each of the coil springs. All right, now that we've got the car up in the air, let's show you how it's gonna work. Basically, you're gonna be inserting this big red airbag into the coil spring here, and you'll have an airline hooked up to the bottom, and it will inflate to the point that it actually starts protruding through the coil a little bit, and it gives the coil a little bit of extra resistance. You're basically adding spring rate by introducing this airbag and pushing it out between the coils. Step four, remove the air cap from the airbags and compress the bags as much as you can before putting the air cap back on so that it retains its shape. The more air you can get out of the bags, the easier this job will be. You are trying to make them as small as possible. Step five, slide the end of the airbag that does not have the air cap into the lowest available coil opening. You are then gonna have to use whatever you can to leverage the airbag all the way up into the spring. I personally used a 3 8 socket extension to help me leverage against things.
This part can be extremely frustrating. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes on each side. Once the airbag is inside the coil, you can remove the air cap so that the bag can reinflate. Step six, rinse and repeat for the other side of the car. Step seven, measure, lay out, and cut the air lines to the desired length. There will be a line from each airbag to a T-junction that feeds out to the inflation valve at the back of the car. The lines are hard to work with, so use some soapy water to help with all of the fitment. Do as much as you can outside of the car because sliding these on while underneath the car can be a pain. All right, so you can route the air lines whatever way you want, but I'll show you at least how I did it. Basically, we've got the uh, airbag, we've got the line coming out of the bottom, we've got a small zip tie on the lower control arm here, goes up, and then it meets the T-junction coming from the other airbag on the other side, and then the T-junction was routed over the hitch itself, and then it pops down. And just make sure that whenever you do all the fittings that you use a bit of soapy water, you shove the hose all the way up uh, until it won't go any further, especially past all the barbs, and then uh, slide your, your clamp up and, and clamp it down. Step eight, find an ideal location for the Schrader valve where you'll be able to inflate and deflate the bags easily. Personally, I have a trailer plug that is mounted to my hitch, so I simply drilled into that and installed the valve there. That's pretty much it. You're gonna fill everything up and you're gonna test for leaks with some soapy water, but just remember when you drop the car down off of the jack stands here, you wanna make sure that the airbag doesn't get caught up in any of the coils here. And you also wanna make sure that the fitting at the bottom is actually poking through the control arm so that it doesn't um, get crushed when you drop the car on it. That's pretty much it. Good luck and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.